is a script that allows you to toggle the space and axis of a control using a hotkey. So for example, this is now in uh, object mode. So now it's in gimbal mode, world mode, object mode, and you can see the mode is changing down here. So before this script, I used to have to come here, go here, close it, and then I'd be in my space, or you can shift or something like this. I never knew how to do that one. Um, so, oh, no idea. But now it's a hotkey, so it's super cool and such a time saver. I use this script religiously. It's really, really cool. And then the second one, the second function of this script, I should say, is you can change the axes that you're controlling. So if I press Alt A, you can see down here, I've selected axis X. So now I only move axis X. And if I um, do it again, I've got Y, again, Z, X. And so it's a super powerful script, super, super cool, saves a lot of time. And it was made from a friend at work, Marcus Taylor. So I'm gonna show you where you can get it, how to download it, and how to install it. So the first thing we need to do is head to Marcus's Gumroad, which is just here, and download the script. Add to cart, go through the motions. So once you have it downloaded, you head to your downloads folder and extract the, the file. And then you have to copy the Pi file which is the Python file to your scripts folder. So just control, copy, uh, Maya 2020 scripts. And I also copy it in this one because I don't know which one is the actual one. So I always just put all my scripts in both. And once you do that, you can open Maya. Once that's open, you go to the hotkey editor Custom scripts, runtime command, new. Now, if you click on the README document that's in the in the download, you can see to cycle through spaces in the script's default mode, you use this command here. So you copy this command, you paste it, and I'm going to call it space because we're cycling through the space, and save command. Before I set a hotkey, I'm just going to do the other command as well. So I'm going to reopen the script. And then, similar to the side, this is the axis mode. So now I'm going to do a new command. It's this, and right, axis. And then save command. Now, I've already got a few commands on my keyboard, so I have. Alt Q and Alt W, which will move to the previous and next key, and then Alt 1 and Alt 2 is to hide nerves curves or hide the geometry. So I'm going to change it to something in that area. Alt sp uh, Object Space can be the key that's next to 1, I'm not sure what it's called, so Alt and this. And you can see here it's already assigned to name, com, sub dot divide create so no idea so save it's fine and now this this is tricky because that's three that's kind of where my fingers sit so this one's going to be a little bit uncomfortable but i'm going to do it to alt a which which will um cycle display mode yeah we don't need that that's fine so now if we have a cube, scale it up a bit, get in perspective. Now let's go to ro rotate to see it clearly. So now if I change my space, syntax error, excellent. Let's try the axes. Syntax error again, super cool, let's see what's up. did mail scripts, they're Python scripts, right? So I'm going to copy this one first. New paste here, make it Python. 
button. And this is the space. Space. Not unique, so we have a space. Space V1. My days. see down here at the bottom that it's in world object in gimbal world object gimbal which is super cool you go to w it's in gimbal world object parent world object parent which is super cool and then if we want to switch the axes this is super cool so if i want to um, rotate let's say x it just does x now if i want to rotate y just does Y. If I want to rotate C, it just does C. And so you can individually rotate each axis, which is super handy. So you, you don't have to change, you don't have to select, select the visual, you don't have to change it, or however you normally do it. I don't know. Um, super cool, awesome scripts. Thank you, Marcus. Subscribe.